All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are here in the Civic and it is freezing outside. I do need to change my oil and a lot more other things, you know. It's, I can't do it at home. It's just freezing. It's, uh, there's snow on the driveway. My boy Andre was nice enough to invite me over for the oil change and take care of all the business over there. So that's where we are heading right now. Except I don't remember his uh, address, but he came through. Okay, I got the address. So we're data logging like always, guys. We've been data logging for some time now. I am on my pretty much stock map with tweaks and tunes to the tune. And it was working good, man. Honestly, I had no problems with it for the last uh, six or eight drives. And on the last two drives, my fuel trims changed. I don't know if it's the weather that is, is, is affecting the fuel trims because I was running around negative 2% of fuel trims. But now with the weather being in like the 0 to 10 degree temperature, I noticed my fuel trims are going up to like 2%. Which again, that's perfectly normal, but I do want to reduce it to roughly around negative 2 before I start adding ignition timing into this map and make this puppy even faster. Right now, I don't know if I made videos or not, but the car is running pretty darn good. Everything is smooth. Uh, the, the, the throttle response and everything shift points seem way better. So we're going there. We're going to change the oil. I also do want to change my factory oxygen sensor. I want to make sure I get... I, I got a replacement oxygen sensor here for this car, guys. And I want to change it and just watch the fuel trims. I want to see if that $30 eBay sensor is going to be decent for this car because, you know, I got an, I got 95,000 miles on this car and the factory sensor is probably on its way out and I would like to have a more accurate reading sensor. Now, will the eBay one be an accurate reading sensor for 30 bucks compared to something that costs 120 bucks brand new? We'll see, we'll find out. If it is, we'll run it for the turbo build. If not, we're going to probably run the stock one and eventually upgrade to a Denso OEM sensor if that makes sense. Anyway guys, enjoy the video. We're gonna go our way to Andre's house right now.
everything else, you know? All right, so we're gonna be running 5.30 this time. It's something different. Hopefully it performs a little better with the added power. And there I am, my boy's looking out for me because I'm spilling like a, like a noob. I'm just not used to your funnels, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the funnel, <laughs> not the user. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, 5.30. I've ran five, uh, 5.20s, which is recommended. I've ran 0.20s in the winter a few times, but I think that was way too thin. Too thin, yeah. So, Penzo is, of course, the choice for me. What do you yeah, use? you like your what, Penzo. What do you yeah. use again? Mobile? I, you know, from my experience, cash oil runs really nicely. Mobile yeah. is a little too thin. Uh, Valvoline and Pennzoil are my top two for sure. Valvoline? You know, Valvoline is great. Uh, Pennzoil is great. And so is, I mean, cash oil makes the car sound quieter, as weird as that sounds. Really? I hear it's not even like a full synthetic, which it should be. There are. There are different versions. But surprisingly, cash oil has always done really well for my Honda. My last one went 320. Using only fucking cash oil, you know? Oh, shit. Yeah. No, Penzo and Valve and... Yeah, I've only used Penzo on this bitch. That's, it's a good oil. Yeah, I like Penzo oil. It's just always, never on sale. <laughs> I mean, and, and you know, I, when I pulled my Valve cover off at a, like, what, 85K, yeah, yeah. it's spotless. I don't think you're done, bro. You might need more. No. How much goes in here? Four or four and a half? 4.1. Right. You seen the nice. eBay one? Nice. Uh, it looks. I mean, it looks okay, but they all do. Um, four me, prong? Is that four yeah, prong? Yeah, it's four. I heard like the there's six prong ones too. And the, the six prong, the six prong are like the actual wide band, like. Damn, you got the actual tool. Oh yeah, well it's garage, you know. Oh okay, the half side. I know those ones. I think yeah. it was this. And then um, I need a, I need this thing with an extension. Is that for a regular extension? I think it might be Just a square? half inch. You need a half yeah, inch. Yeah, it's a half. Womp womp. All oh, right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I took it out like two weeks ago to clean it again. Yeah. But off, uh, it off. yeah, it came off okay. But you know what I did? It was kind of stupid because what I did was I picked it up with gloves. What the O2? Yeah, the O2. Got it dirty. And then the whole glove like melted onto the the housing, you know. Melted on the yeah, like I grabbed oh, it here shit. and it just. Do you want gloves, man? No, no, it's not that. Towel. Oh. Just pull it out. And... Yeah, so you see, it's actually getting air reference from these holes, mm -hmm. compare, and then it's comparing it to the mm -hmm. air fuel mm -hmm. that it's reading here, and that's how it keeps it balanced. So if these are clogged, it not, might not pick up like atmospheric, you know. Interesting. These things are a little. And then sensitive sensors, man. Yeah, you can just leave it somewhere, let it cool off. And then I don't know if you if you look with your phone here, you can see the fucking. You see, yeah. I mean, if you mess around with the lighting somewhere, you can actually see the honeycomb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah, no, it's still clean, man. It doesn't look too bad. It's not clogged or anything, you know. I'm gonna just get uh, some anti-season oh, there. Uh, take the yeah, I'm just curious, bro. I got some here. I'm just curious how. $30 eBay sensor is going to work, you know. Hopefully the same. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. It's a Honda, isn't it? Man, you need some new stuff? Yeah, let me see. You need some new stuff, bro? What do you mean? No, I got, I got it. It's awful, well, that's because it's brown. I think it's copper or something. Why is it all going to be about color, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that, you got I, the copper stuff? I, I don't Not know. Not the, uh... It doesn't matter to me. It actually already has some, I think. And that color is silver. Yeah, so. you're right. Yeah, it can be making fucking rainbows. I would just use a finger like yeah. this, man. Just. That's yep. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Well, 
we'll see, man. We'll see if this was a good choice or not. <laughs> well, we got spares. Don't touch the sensor, yeah. though. That's good enough. Well, time will tell. And if it's going to blow before I even put a turbo, that's going to be funny. <laughs> because of a stupid sensor. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it would just run uh, really open bad. loop all the time, right? Yeah, I don't know. Technically, if the sensors mean, go down, it goes into open loop. I think it'll work fine. I think, if anything, it's just not going to last long, you know? I yeah. think it's not going to last as long as it should. But that was the easiest damn O2 replacement. Yeah, it was nice and easy. Keep the shit lubed, it works nicely. Do you want a torque range on it or anything? Do they even torque these things? Of course they do. Everything's torqued. Do you know how much it would be nope. torqued? They got a Honda book. Yeah, might as well check, you know. We're by the book technicians, so. Don't you want to install those not hot? What do you mean? Oh, well, like the cold, cold, uh, cold exhaust manifold? Yeah, it's close enough. Using a torque wrench, tighten the new oxygen sensor to 33 pounds. There you go. Yeah, I guess 33. You got a half. You, you got, got a half already. inch. My man, we got Andre's garage here. Oh, That's a small Is that one. the? I got the How same one. How much did you dude. say? Harbor Freight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I gotta hate these. <laughs> Thirty-three <laughs> foot pounds. Yeah. Thirty-three. Yeah, yeah. No, that's gonna work. No. That's small, man. Thirty-three is nothing. Check both sides, though. There's two sides. Foot pounds. This is lowest is eighty. No. Oh wait, never mind. I'm looking at it upside down. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'll edit that out, bro. I got yeah, your back. Edit that shit out, man. It's been a while since I used a torque wrench. You it's know? winter season, 35, guys. 35, you said? 33. 33? 35 it is. All right. You want to run it? Yeah, why not? That's a different one. Hold on. I'll take that one. Got adapter. No, actually. Will that fit? No, mm -hmm. you need a half. I need a half. And that's a 3 8. You need a 3 8 to. Uh, is this it? No. no, but I do have one. No, no, we got it right here. Right here. Got it? Yeah, 3 8s and then half the. Yes, one. that's the one. That's the one. Is it tightening? So you, you did it on. Um, yep, it's tightening 35. It's already there, right? Yep. You preset it? Yep. I just hate these things. Cause I know. Am I doing it right here? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, see, we got to keep this steady. Uh, just turn it. That's enough. There it uh, is. There Double check. That. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Close enough. Because you don't want any blow by from that exactly. shit. Exactly. You know yeah, because okay. then it's going to not register the right the air. Sensor. That's it. This is definitely longer, though. A little bit. Right? A little bit. That's okay. Protect those. Ones. I don't really care. As long as it, it's, it's it's giving me good ratios. All right, big bucks, no whammy. Let's see if this shit works. <laughs> All right. $30 sensor, right? $30 compared to 120 And I'll, I'll check. I'll open up Hondata too. See if you can, uh, do you see, uh, can you check? Your heater, war your O2 heater warming? And no, not not on this. But this should warm it up, right? If I clock it, I think that warms up the O2 heater a little bit. No, check in you check engine lights on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say on those uh, AEM wideband sensors? Yeah. They say if you keep it on this on position for too long while you're like, let's say, tuning or adjusting uh -huh. some stuff, you're actually going to burn out the sensor because of keeping it on the on position. Yeah, it's like it, it overheats or something. So right now I can see this throttle is working. Okay. Oh, is that electronic throttle? Yeah, that's your throttle body opening. Wow, never heard that one before. All right, I'm going to start it up. Oh, well, it's idling good. Your dipstick was loose. You put it in? Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what was... Uh, oh, yeah, because I didn't have did it. Did your check engine disappear? <laughs> yeah. And, and the freaking no, dipstick. I think it was just... A so right now it's open. So when you first it's start cold, it yeah. and it's cold, it's going to run open loop. 
147. So the temperature... Wow, the IATs got warmer being in the garage. It was oh, 20 it, degrees outside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. Error. Uh-oh. I haven't gotten that before. So what does that mean? Is so it means your oh, car's check engine, running, check engine. Your car's running on open loop, open loop. God damn it. Yeah, through okay, error code. P1157 air fuel ratio sensor range performance problem. So basically it's not reading your uh O2. I wonder why. You're yeah, still I mean, an open loop. it's not working. So it's not going to open. So loop. it's just going to stay in open it's loop, and I'm running loop. hella rich, probably. Probably. I wonder why. And I bought this shit so long ago, I can't even return it. How much was this? The, the sensor. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can. I clear codes you here. Should be able to. So it's open again. I wonder Maybe if it, it's not warming up enough or something. I wonder if it'll convert. Check engines from oh, the old one. one. I mean, dude, it should be 156. See, open yeah. There, and then it goes back out. Yeah, it's definitely. So, yeah, this is weird. If I can't. Clear well, air fuel here. ratio that's saying your O2 sensor. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely O2 sensor. <sighs> Don't go cheap. Don't go cheap, man. So yeah, I just try to push it back in. Stick it out again, push it in. Okay, I see it now. So the car is on, we're clearing. In order to clear DCTs, the ignition must be switched on, but the engine must not be running. <laughs> Stupid, we'll I knew that. We'll just turn it to uh, uh, AC. Big shout out, guys. Leave a thumbs up for my boy for hooking it up with some beer during these difficult times. We don't do these without, man. <laughs> um, so we're going to go online, clear DCTs. It's first time clearing DCTs. And uh, what happened? All right, let's see. You see your voltage of your O2 meter? See, this is not like a diagnostic tool. That's the thing, yeah. Okay, this is off. Check engine's off. Do you have an OBD reader in there? No, I, I borrowed it to my friend. I might have one. Let me look for mine. So I'm still, I'm open loop. I mean, it should. It's not going to go to close loop. It, it should close right now because it be already it's already closed, warm already enough, moved, yeah. yeah. Wait for the check engine in three. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, fuck, man. Just but but it, look, look, man. you see my air fuel? It's way high. You saw how but now it, it, it's stuck. Now yeah, it's gonna yeah. go off. Yep, you see how it was going to seventeen almost? So it's definitely not reading. And that's probably why it was going way too high, and it triggered open loop. Because yep. it'd rather run rich than blow a motor with yeah. running lean. Well, yeah, yeah, it's natural. Well, oh, that sucks. Up. Yeah, let's. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna fucking pop the other one back in and call it a day. Probably order a. We learned not to buy fucking thirty dollar O2 sensor. <laughs> fucking a man. Like they said, man, you go cheap, you buy twice. Mm -hmm. Perfect example. But sometimes it works. So sometimes I'm not, it works. I'm not against that still. Yeah. You know? I wonder why though. All right. Sorry for wasting your time, no, brother. No, bro. What do you mean? It's a learning process for me not to buy cheap O2 <laughs> sensors for my Honda. <laughs> That's a fact. Fuck, man. What brand is this? There's, there's no brand even, you know. Oh, even it's, better. Man. Yeah. You really hit the. Yeah. I said winner, winner with this one. Huh? Yeah, and I put everything away, thinking I'm gonna be happy. Oh. All right. That's yeah, okay. I'll just grab this. Sorry, my tools are a little place. All right, guys. I'll get back to you guys when this is all back to stock. All right, guys. Well, we got the stock oxygen sensor in. As you can see, the aftermarket one does not trigger and does not go into closed loop, which is what you need the car to idle on. This is what happens when you pay dirt cheap for a oxygen sensor. So a waste of money here. For you guys trying to buy cheap sensors, don't do it. Right now with the factory sensor, it's still running good. It went into closed loop, so it's working the way it should be. It's just an old sensor, that's why I thought I'd try to maybe um, move it around and see if I can get a better reading with the new sensor. 
All right, guys, so we spent the last hour or so driving around. I actually had to adjust the tune, the final tune that I kind of had with the air fuel ratios done right because once we took the O2 sensor out of the car and put you know the aftermarket one in, obviously triggered a check engine light. Didn't want to go into open loop. So that's garbage sensor. We put the factory one back in and then we went for drive and my fuel trims were like negative 10 short term, negative seven long term. So I'm like, why is it adding all this air? So you know what, we, we actually copied the stock fuel AFM flow calibration and pasted into the already the modified tune with better throttle response. And we've been driving that for some time here. And the fuel trims look excellent, actually. They, look at that, negative two, negative one, which is perfect. So I don't know, was it like an issue with the sensor not being plugged in all the way, causing uh, inaccurate reading possibly I'm really not sure man I, I don't know how just removing a O2 sensor plug in didn't change the fuel trim so much but we'll, we'll rock the stock again the stock AFM flow table and if it works good that's even better for me because in essence the other way around we were tuning the AFM flow to compensate for something which again we could have been a bad connection so I'm not sure we're gonna go put some gas in the car I'm pretty much I'm pretty much on empty right now so I do need some premium I got about 228 miles and three bars left so it definitely is eating more gas and then you know tuning this thing and just driving aggressively definitely doesn't help with fuel but yeah man I'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching subscribe if you're new turbo build coming this summer peace I ain't here for the money I ain't here for the fame might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you Come along and see it's true